Indiana, played a Big Ten mm -hmm. opponent early, but you come on the road, it's a night game. Maybe not the, the best opponent, but it's a Big Ten win. Uh, your thoughts on tonight's game? Man? No, it gives us confidence, and uh, we've been gunning for that shutout, and we're happy we finally got it. We just got to keep getting better. What does it mean as a defense, You, I heard you say right there, what, what, what does it mean to you guys when you get a shutout, though? What, what, what is special about that? I mean, it's, it's just... Just crazy. All, our, all our hard work paying off, basically. So seeing that, uh, that zero at the end of the game is really, really special. Cool, man. Kind of the film when you saw that, that field goal hit the upright. It seemed like there was more celebration you would expect in a 56 minute Right, I know. Um, it was really just the culmination of all our hard work for the week. And that was really all the excitement was. What does the defense take away from from a shutout like this, but something that you can improve on because they were, you know, they got first downs, they completed mm -hmm. passes, but there, there has to be something you guys can take away from this as well. well. We take away that we're very resilient. And whenever there's a bad play, we just forget about it and have short-term memory and think about the next play. Talk about that resiliency a little bit and one of your coaches as well, Greg Shiano was a great mm -hmm. coach here. What do you think that this year he's brought to your guys' defense this year? Definitely attention to detail, okay. I think. Um, it's basically the same defense, but a lot of attention to detail and communication is really the big thing. Jordan, yeah. this was your first game not rotating with Eric not here. Mm -hmm. How'd you feel, you know, going full go and, and whatnot? I felt good. I mean, I thought I could have played a lot better, but I mean, that's why you know we have next week. Doing it back, back at home? Yeah, exactly. How, just how that feel? We talked to you a lot about this this week. Playing back here, special? Oh, definitely special. I, I just can't wait to see my family. So yeah, that's that's what I'm excited about. Good. Jordan, uh, may have been asked this, but they didn't have their wide receiver did not have a catch today. Mm -hmm. um, for a defense that's you guys have taken past defense criticism, what does that say about where you guys are right now? It's nice, but uh, obviously it's a whole team thing. It's a it's a D line rushing the quarterback, making him uncomfortable enough to not even try to get the ball off to his outside receiver. So that. That's a testament to the D-line, I think. How really. much is the defense growing in confidence? You, you thought you'd be a dominant unit coming into the season. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the Oklahoma game shook you guys a little bit. Yeah. Where do you feel you are right now? Just on a steady incline. That's us. What are the specific ways in which you feel like this defense is playing better now or maybe last three games than you did against Oklahoma? Our communication has gotten a lot better and um, just basically just doing your job. When you when you focus on making a play, that, that's when you, you you get in trouble. So that's what we've been focusing on. What's the save up for backups so that they can come in and help you guys preserve this shutout? Well, that's amazing. I mean, they're the uh, next guys up, and our standard doesn't drop when they're in the game. So they're held, they're held to the same. Thank you, Thanks, Jordan. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jordan.